On today's episode of Survival Dispatch Reviews, we're having a look at the All Powers S700 power station and their 140 watt folding solar panel. So we get sent a large number of power stations. Uh, they're a very popular item these days. And clearly the manufacturers have uh, clued into that because it seems like every day there's a new power station popping up on the market. Not all the power stations that we get sent uh, get published on our channel for one reason or another, but this particular unit from All Powers is a class leader for a 700 watt output machine. To start with, it comes with multiple input options. So this is the AC power cord. Obviously it's not plugged into anything right now, but simplest way to charge it. There's input for a solar panel here. There's a 12, 12 volt car port here to charge it. And in addition to that, we've got two AC ports on the front, two super bright LED lights on the front. And then on the right side, three USB-A ports, one USB-C port, and two 12-volt barrel ports. On top of which, it comes with a ton of wiring and different types of connections. Uh, most power stations and solar panels, they come with one connector. Um, you can source other types of connectors if you wanted to connect the solar panel to a different brand. Most people don't do that, so you know it's kind of a vendor lock-in thing. Pretty slick the way that All Powers has provided half a dozen different uh, wiring combinations so that you can actually use the solar panel on more than just uh, the All Powers one without having to go out and source connectors and adapters and all sorts of stuff like that. So the question that everybody asks with regards to every power station is, what can it actually run? So this unit is rated for 700 watts of constant AC power output. This hair dryer is 1,875 watts on its highest setting. If you look up in the corner here, you'll see it continuously running, medium fan speed, medium temperature, drawing just over 700 watts. So this power station does what it's advertised to do and will give you a continuous 700 plus watts of AC constant power. We've tested multiple other power stations that have fallen well short of their advertised output. So kudos to All Powers for actually delivering a power station that does what it says it's gonna do. Up next, we're gonna have a look at the 140 watt folding solar panel that All Powers sells. Works with multiple different power stations, but they have a combo uh, price deal on this on Amazon right now. This is a really small package. As you can see, it's not very thick. Comes with a pouch on the back. As we mentioned previously, half a dozen different styles of connectors there. So we're gonna get this thing set up and show you how important it is to make sure you get the correct angle of your solar panel to the sun, because if you don't, it's amazing how much wattage uh, you leave on the table. So I wanna point out that there are four kickstands across the back of the solar panels, and they're held in place with Velcro when it's folded up in its carrying case. However, because the, you know, the, canvas and the velcro is not crazy strong it takes two sets of hands to get this to balance because if you do two at one end and you go to the other end it tips over uh, this is the one thing that i'll knock all powers for very difficult to set this up with the kickstands with only one person and one set of hands as you can see from the screenshot uh, this video was filmed mid-afternoon here in central florida when the solar panel was tipped up on the kickstands, uh, it was generating around 67 watts of input power. However, if you look at the next picture where the solar panel was laid flat on the ground, the input wattage dropped down to 36 watts. Now, obviously you wouldn't leave it sitting flat on the ground like that, but we did it this way just to show that there's a very dramatic difference in the angle of the solar panel to the sun at a particular point in time. If you buy the S700 power station by itself on Amazon, the current price is $439. If you buy the 140 watt solar panel by itself, the current price is $209.99. So right around $650 for the total package. However, all powers have a combo where you can buy it for $539 
but even better, we got a 10% discount code down below where you can get the total package, $485 on Amazon, including the shipping. That's good through till March 26, 2023. Works out to 65.3 cents per watt hour of battery capacity, which is incredibly low. That would be the, in the lowest 10% of power stations uh, that we've looked at. And we look at a lot. We look at so many that while we were filming this video, we got two more email offers from companies asking us if we'd please review their power stations. We've literally lost track of how many have been sent to us. Probably 50% of them get on the channel, 50% of them fail for one reason or another, and so we don't proceed with a review. Long story short, $46 on top of what this unit would cost by itself to get the folding solar panel. That's a heck of a deal. Um, you know, the price per watt hour for battery capacity is a major highlight. Very fast charging battery, by the way, uh, zero to 80 percent in one and a half hours, another hour and a half to get it to 100 percent. The case construction on this power station is the best we've seen, bar none. Listen to when I put the handle down. You can hear it snap in place. So we usually don't call out uh, other companies, but I can tell you right now that relative to maybe some better known names like uh, EcoFlow and Blue Eddy, the case construction, the handle construction on this unit is head and shoulders better. Uh, the handles flop around on those other units like a fish out of water. The plastic construction is thin and flimsy. This is a whole level above those. Also, the smartphone app that All Powers has is very simple but effective. Uh, it's, it's amazing how many power stations we test that either don't have a smartphone app to monitor and control the power station or have a very buggy smartphone app that just flat out doesn't work. So there's not a lot of options in the smartphone app for this. It'll tell you what the draw is for output. It'll tell you what the input is if you're charging it. It'll tell you, it'll, pardon me, it'll allow you to turn ports on and off, uh, those sort of things. Uh, very basic, but very effective, and it just works. So we'll put all the speeds and feeds, the tech details down below in the description. And if you don't mind, please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, share our videos and help us out with the algorithm a little bit. And don't forget to click the bell so you get notifications. Thanks for tuning in to Survival Dispatch Reviews.